Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of December, 2021. It's almost Christmas, and we're having a little bit of abbreviated, but a nice show and tell and hangout today. The topic for today is Witnessed Falls. This is spectacular. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, did you see the multiple trails just before it ended the incandescent flight? Yep. You can tell that thing just explodes. Yeah. And there's there's like five pieces visible right there. I was saying one of the great things about our hobby and our passion is we get to see the events like this and see the, the raw power um, of these objects coming in from space, colliding with our atmosphere. And then we actually have friends who go out and find them in the deserts and collect them. This one's actually caught on two different cameras. We're going to watch both of them. So this is over Quebec. Thank you for these people with porch cameras. I know. Several, several disruptions on that one. Nice. That one had a really steep angle. This is a witnessed fall that just happened 47 days ago. Wow. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, oh wow! Oh, look, at how, that's cool. look at how stipply the crust is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at that. This one fell in Mauritania on November sixth. This, I'm really hoping. Yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, Tenacious. This is Winchcomb. Oh, that's Winchcomb! Wow. This is a 0.2 gram piece of Winchcomb, and I'm trying to get it set up. Hold on. Wow. This is Tarda. Mm -hmm. This is a 0.577 gram Tarda, and I have it displayed in sand from the region. So here's another carbonaceous fall. This is Aguazarcus. This is a CM2, 4.83 grams. That's a like, beautiful, hefty hunk of chunk, man. Absolutely. Yeah, that, is, is that crusted on the outside? Or Talus Valley. Yes, that that's exactly it, and and here it is. I got this oh, Daryl Pitt. Wow! See, look at that metal, <sighs> that metal in there. Isn't that beautiful? That, that is so beautiful. This is a um, gives me a great uh, uh, segue to give a, a thirty second plug to a new enterprise that's going to make buying meteorites a lot easier and safer. Coming soon will be meteoritevault.com. So you have a curated collection. Every item on there is reviewed and vetted by experts and you'll be able to look at pictures and videos you can't do videos on ebay um, you'll be able to to filter by size by price by witnessed by palisite only by this only it's going to be a search engine and a tool built just for safe e-commerce of meteorites so it'll make um, we have marco geyser on vacation and joining us in from uh, Germany. How are you, buddy? Yeah, it's fantastic to uh, join live on the Hangout. And uh, of course, um, I prepared some or two nice witness falls. Mm -hmm. So um, the first one is uh, Vinales, which happened on uh, the February 1st in 2019. That, of those flow lines. But you can see exactly those flow lines, that very fresh crust um, of course, radial flow lines. So, um, yeah, this piece is oriented. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, there's no shock veins in there. There are no shock veins, but I hope you can see that uh, green residues on the piece, on the surface. So, under the microscope, you can see um, that uh, these are residues of, of, I don't know, grass or, or something like that. Yeah, this piece, what you can see here, is also a witness for, I, I say Sarici check. I don't know, you can see Sarici check. It's one of those, we always want to listen to someone else who, especially if they're European, I want to listen to the way they say it. <laughs> very, very glassy fusion crust on that one. <laughs> Okay, guys, we've been talking about uh, and showing some of our fresh and other witness falls, but now is the time we like to deep, deep dive into some science. 
with Mike Kelly. He put a little presentation together for us, even though he's not at home this week. Back in the day, it was uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it was either a witness fall or it wasn't a witness fall. Uh, and that was all the way up to about 2015 um, when they kind of made a proposal to the change on, uh, on how we classify falls. So in Metbull, there are 1,360 uh, things that pop up when you search for falls. Um, and now that includes the confirmed falls, the old system where it just said a fall, yes or no, uh, and those YPs, the, the probable falls. Uh, the oldest thing out there uh, that you won't find in your collection and you can't get because uh, it's maybe a meteorite, maybe isn't, is the uh, Aegeus Potomi. Uh, so that is the oldest thing listed in Met Bowl. Looking at the oldest confirmed meteorite in the Met Bowl, you get the uh, Nagara from Japan. Who doesn't like type falls? You know, pretty much the majority of the type specimens are actually type falls. Um, you got odd, odd ducks like Ben Kubin, which aren't, but uh, everything else is named after a fall. Uh, that was the type of that, that specimen that set the trend. Tell us about your, your successes at Holbrook, buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, the, all these uh, Holbrooks were ones I found. Uh, I have a lot of them. These are all ranging in size from three grams to uh, almost nine grams. Yeah. And this was back, you know, 110 years ago. Yep. And uh, it still has that beautiful crust on it. Yeah. Oh, I have some that look like they fell yesterday. It was an amazing fall because, uh, yeah. again, in 1912, that still, the sun, uh, it was a July 19th evening, like 630. Uh, sun's still out till like nine. So most of the town got to see the fall. I mean, it was not just a boom. There were sonics that went on for minutes and minutes rumbling. Hey, Chris Monk, you have something to show us, buddy? Another witness, I hope. I do. So the one we, one we haven't talked about tonight is Buzzard Cooley. And this oh. one fell in 2008, November 20th actually at 5 26 p.m and i really like this one and it's about 10 just over 10 grams but what i like about it the most boom is it's an in cut and you get to see the inside nice buzzer cooley is a canadian and one of the most gorgeous meteorites inside it, it really is a very very beautiful meteorite we were talking earlier about a witnessed albright well, here is the one of the original witnessed Albrights, Peña Blanca Spring, in Texas, and that one landed in water too, and they fished it out of the uh, of the spring pond. Here is another rare witnessed type. It's a Mesosiderite A34. So this fell in uh, in Iowa in 1879, and it's um, Esterville. When you look at this, you can really see the differences in the silicates, the metal, and then the, uh, I believe, orthoproxene. Shout out to my grandmother, Esther. One from a island country that only has two witness falls, or two meteorites. Madagascar. And Anitra. Exactly. Madagascar only has two known meteorites, and they're both witnessed. And that's because you got to see it in order to get it there. Benanitra is an expensive meteorite. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to highlight since we're kind of focusing on numbers was, you know, the, the importance of falls are also that they bring us pristine material that uh, you just don't get otherwise. You know, we went to the moon six times and we brought back 842 pounds of lunar material from the moon. You get a fall like Allende, uh, which is a fresh carbonaceous, that was two tons. <laughs> right. So that single fall alone brought us more material uh, than we brought back from the moon. With Tarda, with Wenchcomb, with Aquazarchus, those are all uh, witnessed um, carbonaceous falls that are super important to science. And they were collected immediately. When you look at the fact that I have a 20 gram hunk of Aquazarchus and they're spending how many millions of dollars to go to Ryubu uh, uh, or a Cyrus Rex mission, and they're hoping to get 20 grams or 30 grams in their container, and it takes multiple years. And 
Meteorites okay. rights are the cheapest space program going and yep. we get pretty pristine material uh, out of Antarctica as well. The Metcam is running. This is a meteorite that I uh, that I bought in Tucson 2020. Chondrules are really dark. The matrix between them is really dark, but the most amazing thing, this thing is full of metal and trollite. Hmm. And I have not seen another meteorite with this many armored chondrules. I, I figure it's upwards of 25% of the chondrules are armored. Is it a witness fall? Yes, in my opinion, it is. Um, and it's oriented, and I can't send uh, Marco away without a little bit of stew. <laughs> so <laughs> this is my one kilo oriented Gadamus with impact scuffs. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a beauty, Topher. Thank you very much, sir. You would Stunning, know. Man. Stunning. And then if you look at the backside, it does show the signs of orientation we all know and love. Uh, yeah. Uh, very shallow regma glass. That's, nice. that's a beauty, Topher. That's Thank a you. that's not a not a uh, uh, super common shape. That's more of a nose cone than a yeah. shield. Hey guys, that was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed this hangout. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for showing off all your witness falls. Have a great holidays, everyone. I'll see hey, you on the other. Happy holiday. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>